Alright, so yeah, in this video we are going to see the wiring of this drive. Alright, what are the internal wirings? Now you can see here this is a drive and we have wired the circuit here. Okay, so these wires are basically coming to these wires. These are the terminal box. We have extended these wires. The reason is because in this trainer we are using a PLC. Okay, Micrologics 1400. Over there, that's the PLC. We have connected the VFD wires, wire relays to the PLC. Basically PLC is turning on the relays. And relays are wired in such a way that if you turn on a relay, these control terminals will be activated. So how this is activated? What is what is what do I mean by activated? Let's see that in the detailed wiring diagrams. Okay. So as of now, just understand that this PLC is connected to the drive. Okay. So this is the diagram which you generally find in the PLC or VFD manual. Okay. So I have created a modified diagram, not modified, but in interactive way. This is the actual diagram on my trainer. I'm explaining that because I'm going to work on the screener in another further videos, so I'll be linking my PLC to the drive. So to understand my further lessons, we need to understand this diagram as well. Okay, so let's start from the top. This is the input terminals onto which we have connected line and neutral. Um, between line and neutral, you can also connect your MCBs or a contactor or relays, whatever you want. Okay, so this is all about connecting the input, which is 220 volts single phase or three phase 220 volt as well. You can do that. This is just an overview. Anyways, yeah. These are the control terminals 1 to 6, 1 to 4. This is the same terminal which I have shown you in previous slides. Yeah, these one. These are the control terminals. Let's see what we have in here. So, you'll find on the drive there are some numberings. You cannot see that, but there are some numberings on the bottom. Okay. That numberings you can also see here as well. These one 0, 1 to 6 and 11 to 16 these are the numbering now these numbers have some meaning okay so the 0 1 says stop this is the stop terminal 0 2 is start and run 0 3 is direction run reverse 0 4 is a dig common digital common okay digital ground or common 0 5 is the digital input 0 6 is a digital input 2 1 and 2 these are the external terminal inputs okay just like we have m0 to m5 in the vfd of delta this is DIG in 1 and in 2 and you may have more inputs in some other version. In this version we just have two inputs. Then you have 11 number 24 volts internal 24 volt supply. On 12 number you have 10 volts on this. This is the next 13 number I forgot to mention here. This is the 13 number which has 0 to 10 voltage input. Okay this is the voltage input terminal on which we have to connect 0 to 10 volt to run the drive in you know different speed of frequency. This is the analog common this is the 4 to 20 milliampere input. Now, let's see one by one what are these terminals and how I have connected this one. So, you'll find some over there. Let me start from here. This is the PLC input card. Now, we have connected a PLC input, some terminals of PLC input to relay feedback terminal. Now, these three terminals R1, R2, and R3, which you may find over here this R1, R2 and R3. This is a relay, okay, relay terminals. PLC has an inbuilt relay. If you find here, this is a relay, an Omron relay. Its three terminals are there, common and NNC. Middle one is common, okay. So this middle one, R2 is common. If you know relay, you might understand what is common and NNC. And if you see in this symbol, R1 is NO, R3 is NC. So this common is going to NC through R3 it is going to one of my PLC terminal I colon 0 slash 19 this is the last PLC input which I have connected to the NC of this drive now this relay gives you feedback feedback when your drive has a fault or feedback when your desired frequency has achieved or a feedback whether the drive is running at 0 to 10 volt or keep it controlled so we have various types of feedback which comes from the drive so it's up to you which feedback you want to read and if you want to read that, one way is to, you can connect directly some LEDs or indicators next to that. Or the other way is you can connect that to PLC. So in my case, I have connected this to my last input of PLC, I colon 0 slash 19. And this is I in 6. NO, this is connected to I colon 0 slash 18. This is connected to my PLC. And to the common, I have provided 24 volts. PLC common is 0. So this will be detected. So let me show you a small overview. Yeah, like this. So the NC is already giving you a signal. So I in 7, which is I colon 0 slash 19 in the PLC is on. And this is off. So when this relay is on, this will get on and this will get off. All right. So if you want to see that in Micrologics, that's the PLC, the letter diagram. And here we can monitor the inputs. This is the input. And the input which is on is 
users were 15. Let me see. That's my 19. Okay. I call in 0 slash 9. And this is already on. This is on because my NC terminal is going to IN7. So like this. This is on. All right. So yeah. Now we have PLC output card. Not output card. We can say output terminal. Actually. Now this drive has to be connected to in two ways it can be connected as we call it sync wiring and source wiring so right now it is source wiring now what do we mean by that there's a switch on the drive if you see this camera there's a switch over there small switch over there which says source and swing there's a toggle switch so right now my drive is at source now what happens when you do when we connect that to source we have to connect 11 number which is a 24 volts to the input terminals to activate that that is what source means because internally these terminals are having some transistors or you know some internal circuitry which is get shorted to zero volt all right so these terminal inside get shorted to zero volt when you when you toggle that switch to source in the drive okay when you're thus when you are the switch is at source these are connected to zero volt internally so when you connect 24 volt externally these get activated so what we have done is our drive is connected in source mode okay in source mode we have connected 11 number directly to one number this is for stop via one relay NC contact which is R6 this is my R6 okay this relay is connected to O colon 0 slash 6 which says this is the PLC output we can have we have this output here as well this is the output so what happened if I turn on this one no matter what is the position of drive the drive will get stopped okay so right now drive is stop okay even even if I press run here this will run okay now right now our drive control is keypad control that's why you can see this LED all right if you make your control to external control this LED will be go off and then you can start and stop the drive using these terminals using the terminals which you can see here yeah the start run direction run DAG in DAG in two now there are two ways to run the drive one is from the keypad one is from external terminals when you're going for external terminals then these terminals are being used okay so during the course I'll be telling you how to connect to this terminals how to turn on the drive using 0203 and how to change the direction as of now, what we have done is we have connected 24 volts via NO contact to 02, 03, 05, and 06. Now, these NO contacts are of the relays which are connected to OUT2, OUT3, OUT4, and OUT5. So, in a way, if you turn on O colon 0 slash 2 from the PLC from here, if you turn on this one, it will turn on this contact, it will close this contact, and your 24 will go to pin number 02. All right, so I'll be explaining you when we are going to start and stop the drive. And our out three is connected to zero three, out four is connected to zero five, and out five is connected to zero six, and our out six is connected to stop terminal. All right, so this was the control terminal to start, stop, and to change the frequency and to run in the jog mode. All right, this is as of now. And these pair of terminals, uh, here we have a potentiometer to control the speed from external source. So the potentiometer you can also see here that's the potentiometer we can also control the speed from this potentiometer so to do that we have to connect the frequency connect the potentiometer to pin number 12 0 and analog common so what happens this analog common is basically 0 volt and this is 10 volt so you have 10 volt signal here and you will get variable 0 to 10 volt signal at the middle point when you rotate that potentiometer which goes to 0 to 10 V in I hope that makes sense this is to control the frequency okay and if you see this 4 to 20 milliampere, this is another terminal to control the frequency if your source is current, 4 to 20 milliampere. It can be 0 to 10 volt, it can be 4 to 20 milliampere. So if you're providing current, this is another common for that. It's mutual common for voltage and current. All right. And then your drive is connected to motor by UVW pin to three phase. So this is about how we have wired this drive. We have used a PLC to read the feedback. We have used a PLC outputs to turn on the inputs, to activate the inputs. This is the source wiring. And if you see the sync wiring, there's only one difference. Here, 24 is not connected. DIG common is connected, okay? Common will go to the internal, this control terminals. 
and this 24 will go there common is not connected so that was about wiring the drive how we can wire it in sync and source and how it's not necessary to use plc and contacts here we can use simple switches toggle switches no switches nc switches but just to make this course a little more complex and to control that using a plc which most of the students are looking forward to i have personally done this using a plc to make it more you know more knowledgeable and to understand more better we can make logics here so parallelly you can also practice plc logics as my logic 1400 to control this drive all right thank you